What's the best case of instant karma that you've ever seen? My dad told me this story. He was driving back from the shore when traffic got really bad. About a mile ahead, there was an accident that had brought traffic to a crawl. Shit happens, my dad decides to be patient about it. Others weren't so patient. People began driving on the shoulder in order to get ahead of the traffic. This pisses my dad off. We all know how this goes. We do the right thing and are punished for it, whereas these a-holes are skipping in front traffic and will probably get away with it. He thought about following this stream of cars onto the shoulder, but he decided he'd do the right thing and wait. As he got closer he saw two cops in a parking lot. One cop was directing all of the shoulder drivers into the parking lot, while the other wrote all of those drivers' tickets. He describes it as one of the most satisfying things he's ever seen. I used to be a zookeeper. This bitch was making fun of our llama for looking ugly. The llama was a rescue who had corrective jaw surgery. The bitch pointed and laughed at our llama. The llama spat in her mouth. I gave the llama a treat and told her that she was a good girl. I was working in a supermarket when panicked customer A came up to me and said he'd accidentally left his cash in the ATM and had anyone handed it in. I was about to say no when customer B appeared behind him and said he'd been trying to catch up to him he'd been queuing behind him at the ATM and saw what happened, so he'd got the money for him. It was 200 pounds so a decent amount. Customer A was super grateful and offered him some of the money but he wouldn't take it. Customer B then bought a scratch card, scratched it, and found he'd won 5 pounds. Not a whopping amount of karma, but karma nonetheless. I banged by knee on the corner for a hotel bed and my husband was laughing his ass off while he was brushing his teeth in the bathroom. As soon as he walks out of the bathroom, his hit his knee the exact same way and I got to laugh my ass off. My boyfriend has a big GMC, and one winter it was really snowy and a bunch of cars had gone into the ditch, as you do. Because he's a nice guy, he was spending his day off pulling people out for free. At one point, while he was helping someone, some a-hole flew by him, wailing on the horn and flipping him off out the window. He got done pulling the car out and headed up the road in the direction that jackass had gone. A mile up the road, they found him standing outside of his car, which was now plowed into a giant fucking tree. Boyfriend honked his horn, waved, and kept driving. Dude just hung his head like a scolded dog. Truly beautiful. Driving through Philly in standstill traffic some asshat decides to use the shoulder as a lane to cut in line. The vehicle he ended up cutting off was a state trooper. An instant whoop whoop and told to pull off the highway over a loudspeaker. I couldn't stop laughing. A whole kid in middle school kept trying to steal my cell phone. It was a cheap flip phone, but he'd do it just to piss me off. Our school had a rule that you couldn't have your phone out in class. Teacher left the classroom for a second to have a brief word with an administrator. Jerkass kid grabbed my phone. Teacher came back in a moment later and caught him red-handed with my phone out. She wouldn't believe it wasn't his phone. He got detention. I worked at a grocery store. I was stocking instant noodles on a big sale display. All I had was a cheap small step two-step stool. You know the one with the bar that runs across the top step? Reaching down to the stool from the shelf I was standing on was about three feet. I had a 60% chance my foot would land on the top bar and collapse the thing. I asked a co-worker to use his shoulder as a handle as I got down. My supervisor called me a princess for getting assistance. Soon after he was stocking the two-liter Coke bottles on a sales display, he tried to get down. He took the 40% success rate jump onto the step, hit the top bar. The step ladder collapsed. He broke his arm and took down half of the display. I just clocked out and left before they told me to clean up the spilled soda all over the place. Not instant, but karma nonetheless, my dad kept getting his lunch stolen at work one day, so he got my mother to get the spiciest hot sauce on the market to put on the sandwich. Lo and behold, the guy who stole it was looking red as a hot iron. They fired the guy and my dad got to eat his lunch again. That time I had my shoes stolen. I was 17. Went to a party where there were kids from two different high schools. When I went inside I took off my brand new Nike Air Mata shoes that I had just bought for $140. Hours later, when I went to leave, my shoes were gone. We had an idea of who took them, a guy from the other school, but didn't have proof. 
I was so sad and so embarrassed. I had to drive home in my socks. Long story short, a week later Monica, the girl who threw the party, shows up on my doorstep holding something behind her back. Turns out she went to a party and saw the guy who stole my shoes wearing them. When he took them off, after a smoke break she snagged them. Now, standing in front of me she reveals my Nikes. She told me the best part was watching him look for them, just like I had, and then leave in his socks. I'm in the NYC subway. A guy elbows me out of the way to get into the turnstile first yelling vaguely that he has a train to catch. No shit. Through the turnstile, turn the corner and there are a few cops set up near a folding table and he gets pulled to have his bag searched. In the UK, kids wear blazers and ties to school and a common bullying tactic that jerks used was to run up to kids, pull their ties so they get really tightly knotted. On the bus home, the bus was really full and I was standing in front of one such bully. He grabbed my tie just as the bus had to break sharply. He lost his footing and the only thing keeping him upright was the fact that he was holding my tie. He had grabbed the wrong bit. It wasn't knotted. I simply untied it. He fell on his bum. That was the last time I was knotted. In my school everyone had clip-on ties, and because if the strict dress rules some bullies would yank them off and wouldn't give them back. However, some people had proper ones, usually as a replacement for losing them. One of my friends had won and some arsehole yanked it really hard, causing said friend to, accidentally, headbutt the dude in the face giving him a nosebleed. At a job as a mechanic I got a part that was completely correct except the electrical plug was a different shape. I found out after I installed it. For the record it did plug in, just didn't have long enough prongs to communicate. I had to order the right part again and take this one off and install the right one all while only getting paid to put the correct one on. Lost about two hours. My coworker laughed and said, Bet you won't make that mistake again. Pay attention next time. His very next job he put all four tires on backwards. Some tires are directional. Said the same thing to him. I knew I would use it against him. Didn't know it would be that soon. It was my own karma. I was in eighth grade. I was standing on a bench when I watched some girl fall over in the yard started laughing and pointing and then went to lean back onto the fence that was behind the bench. Turns out it had broken off where I was standing and I fell straight through and into the mud. The best one was a real fucking goon at my school. He got up on the roof of a shed to piss on kids as they left the shed. But this dumb bully fell off the roof resulting in a broken wrist, injured Wong and humiliation. A girl laughed at my wife and I on a train. When the train stopped, she tripped onto the guy in front of her and got a nosebleed. What was she laughing at? We're lesbians. I probably should have mentioned that. Do you have a similar story? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.